Let's visit Budapest. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today I'm introducing the ultimate one day guide to exploring Budapest and important things to know when traveling there. To give a brief background, Budapest is Hungary's capital city situated on the banks of the Danube in Central Europe. It is the political, economical, and cultural heart of the nation. Buda is the hilly and peaceful west side of the city with fairy tale architecture. Pest is the lively east side of the city with trendy bars, cafes, and restaurants. It is also home to to one of the famous baths. Seven bridges brought both cities together. Budapest is one of the beautiful cities to visit, but preparations must be made when traveling there. From my family trip to Budapest, I learned that OBB, DB, and Bolt are useful apps for European voyages, especially to this country. It's also useful to me as a confused Canadian exchange student in Germany. OBB is the national railway system of Austria and is also known as the Austrian Federal Railway System. DB is the Dutch band navigator with up to date information on train schedules, buses, and purchasing tickets. The arrival time for the train may change suddenly, so be cautious. Bolt calls cabs to your destination and you can pay them on the app and not get scammed. My family and I took a DB train to Munich and a 7 hour OBB train to Budapest Kelete Station in business class. The 7 hour ride offers you a variety of meal and drink options on the menu. In this case, these were the items we picked. Upon arrival to Budapest at 10 pm, we arrived at three corner lifestyles hotel to go to our booked room. It was very spacious, clean, and comfortable. Their breakfast is also decent as well. As for restaurant recommendations, Paprika is a well-known Hungarian restaurant. These were some menu items. Enjoy some Hungarian food while cracking open a cold beer. Maybe have a shot of palinka while you're at it to feel the Hungarian spirit. I felt it and the spirit was strong. If European food does not sit well with you, I can recommend a Korean restaurant called Seoul House. On to places to visit within one day in Budapest. We took a bolt cap to the Buda Castle district. Its Hungarian name is Budai Varnagid, and it is one of the most popular areas to visit on Castle Hill. <laughs> It is surrounded by history with a fortified wall and a number of medieval monuments as well as houses, public buildings, and monuments from the 17th and 18th century. In the 13th century, the King of Hungary, King Bela IV, erected the first fort on Buda's Castle Hill as siege-proof residence against a Mongol invasion. The Buda Castle is more considered as a romantic element of a fairy tale rather than part of history. The entrance to the castle is free, however, some castle buildings and museums may require a ticket. Explore your options in the district and purchase the tickets. To get the best view of the city, the Danube, and the Hungary parliament, head towards the Fisherman's Bastion in the castle district. The Bastion or Halabastia served a purpose for the locals as a beautiful panoramic terrace with lookout towers on the base of the castle walls after the Buda Castle siege. Its design is inspired by Neo-Romanesque early medieval times during the rule of the first Hungarian king. Some say that the seven towers of Halabastia represented seven Hungarian chieftains leading their tribes. It was quite a historical monument and is great for pictures. You can also visit Matthias Church to admire its intricately designed interior and gorgeous colorful glass panes. There is an interesting story behind this monument. The church was said to be called Matthias Church in honor of King Matthias Hanyadi, who began the Golden Age of Buddha. He brought peace and prosperity to the country with his rule and people showed great respect for him. They even depicted him as a hero of the people in folk tales, punishing the bad and rewarding the good in a peasant's disguise. King Matthias also held both of his weddings there. He married the daughter of a Czech ruler who died from childbirth at the age of 13. Then he married the daughter of an Italian ruler which began the Renaissance era of Hungary. Unfortunately, the golden era came to an end because of the king's death with no heir followed by a decline of the country. There is a cafe nearby with a nice view of the city but the coffee is not great.
Once you've explored the whole district, you can cross a bridge to the best side of Budapest. Google Maps may deplete your phone's battery, so bring a portable charger or charge your phone at a nearby Starbucks there. Enjoy shopping, going to restaurants, and staring at beautiful architecture. Visit the Grain Market Hall, the largest Budapest market hall with fresh goods, opportunities for people watching, and guided tours for food tastings. Whether it is raining or sunny, this place is good to visit or go sightseeing. I've heard that the prices are rip off, so be more cautious when buying products there. We had a look at the Great Market Hall an hour before closing time. Yep, didn't think this through. I think they're closing most of the places. So most of the booths were closed that time. If you like going for a nice swim, head to the Sizicheni Baths, the first hot spring palace turning about 109 years old this year. Check the news in Hungary before arriving there as well. On the Pest side of Budapest, there were a lot of protesters roaming the city, so it was a bit difficult getting through the crowd. I wondered what made this many people join the protest. 8,000 people were marching with Hungary's teachers who faced low pay and poor working conditions. The teachers were living off a monthly salary of about 500 euros after taxes. <laughs> To conclude your one-day voyage, you must take the night cruise. It's the best part of the trip. We booked the Danube Legend cruise at 9 p.m. This is the perfect time to take the cruise because that's when all the buildings light up, including the majestic Hungarian parliament on the Danube. Make sure to arrive 45 minutes earlier to the cruise for a good seat on top of the cruise. When we went 30 minutes earlier, there were a ton of people trying to get good seats. This one-hour cruise ride also has a free drink included, champagne, beer, wine, juice, soda, and water. It's 19 euros per adult and 15 0.5 euros if you're a student. The view from the cruise is definitely worth the money. Here are a couple of pictures from our cruise trip. A flock of birds were flying above the Hungarian parliament, but they look like stars in the photo. I hope you enjoyed this one day guide to exploring Budapest. I've been wanting to go there for a while and was happy for a chance to. Let me know in the comments what country you always wanted to visit and why. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to join the family. I will see you in the next adventure. Thank you for watching and that's all.